A journey from Rumi Sufi wisdom to quantum physics. What if the universe isn't what it seems? What if reality as we know it is just a shadow of a deeper, hidden truth? In the 13th century, Rumi, the great mystic poet, believed the key to this truth was in the human heart, which he saw as a mirror reflecting all of creation. Seven centuries later, a modern physicist explored a radical idea that our entire universe is a hologram a projection from a distant, two-dimensional surface. Join us to discover how the science of the hologram and the poetry of the mirror reveal an incredible secret about your true connection to the cosmos. The divine love you speak of, is it not just a feeling, but the very fabric of reality? It is both, my friend, it is the sculptor of all forms. From the smallest atom to the grandest star, all are held together by the love of the beloved. Uh. So our knowing is not from these scrolls, but from that love? The mind can only hold dust, but the heart holds the ocean. The true knowledge is the face you see reflected in the heart's polished mirror. So the entire universe is not just outside of us, but contained within us. A single drop reflecting the whole? The physical world is just a projection, a shadow cast by the light of the beloved. The shadow is a reflection of a deeper reality. So our purpose is not to acquire knowledge, but to become a pure vessel for it. To be the mirror. Yes. Yes, the heart is the mirror, and when love polishes it clean, the one who looks in yes. becomes the one who is seen. The illusion of separation dissolves. Oh, our existence is to love, and, through that love, to become a living reflection of the beloved? Is yes. yes, the knowledge is not in these books, but in the heart. So the implicate and explicate orders are not separate. One unfolds from the other. Yes, like the seed contains the tree. The spiritual essence is the blueprint for the material form. This love, then, is the divine force that makes the universe manifest? Yes. It is why you say, whatever you love, you are. Because the love you hold is the very force of creation. So our purpose is not just to see the reflection, but to become a living part of that love. Yes. It is a subtle truth. It is not something you understand with the mind, but something you become with the heart. To polish the mirror is to become a vessel for the beloved to shine through. The dust on the mirror is the delusion of separation of an ego that stands apart from the whole. The goal is to become nothing, to have no ego, only to be the empty mirror, the and to become everything, to know that every part of the cosmos, every atom, every star is within you. So this is why you say that knowledge is in the heart, not in the books. Hands need to turn. The books are but fingers pointing to the moon. They hold descriptions, no. but not the truth. The truth is experienced. To truly know is to become one with what is known. To know the ocean is to become the drop. To know the small, unique reflection is to understand the grand, boundless whole. The illusion of separation is the dust and love is the mirror. Is this what you mean? Yes. It is not about the face you see in the mirror. It is about becoming the mirror itself. Our existence is to love and, through that love, to become a living reflection of the beloved? The knowledge is not in these books. It is in the heart, the mirror. The mirror is not what we see, but how we see it. 
Yes, it is the lens through which reality reveals itself. And the lens is within. Centuries later, the same truth echoed from a physicist, seeking answers in mathematics and quantum physics. The math works. We can describe the entire universe from information encoded on its boundary. The holographic principle. It's still wild to me. The universe as a giant cosmic hologram. Wild, but elegant. The Bekenstein bound tells us information isn't proportional to volume, but to surface area. It's how black holes work. Right, like the ad s slash CFT correspondence. It's a mathematical mirror. The mystical mirror? How does that relate to a mathematical construct? Rumi called the heart a mirror, reflecting all of reality. The physical world, the explicate order, is... That sounds like Bohm's theories on consciousness, implicus, and the implicate order. That memory isn't stored in one place, but holographically in the brain. Exactly. Carl Pribram referred to it as the holographic brain. The part contains the whole. So the brain's information isn't localized. A small piece can reconstruct the entire memory. Just like Maulana Rumi said, you are the entire ocean in a drop. The individual is a microcosm of the whole. So, the science of the hologram is just a modern-day parable for this ancient truth? The math describes the what, but the poetry describes the why. It gives us a reason to look for the whole in every part. So the ultimate act of self-discovery isn't looking in, but looking out with love. And in doing so, you see the reflection of the whole. Maulana Rumi said, whatever you love, you are. He saw love not as an emotion, but as a universal force that shapes consciousness and reality itself. It's a powerful metaphor, but it's just that, a mathematical abstraction, not a direct physical reality in our universe. It's a theoretical model. Perhaps. But what if our very consciousness is the information that organizes the holographic field? Our consciousness, the organizing principle? That's not physics. But it's not entirely illogical either. Rumi saw love as a universal force that shapes consciousness and reality. The math describes the hologram, but the love is the lens that allows us to see the whole in every part. It's about seeing the universe as an endless reflection and understanding your unique role as a part of the whole. So the illusion of separation is the dust that Maulana Rumi talked about. We are not just observing the universe. We are its self-aware reflection. And in every part of that reflection, the whole is waiting to be seen. It's the ultimate unity. The math for the hologram and the poetry of the mirror, they are speaking the same truth. A beautiful convergence. A scientific structure for an ancient spiritual intuition. It's quite something, isn't it? It offers a whole new way to look at the mind-body problem. That consciousness isn't in the brain, but is part of a larger holographic field. A unified consciousness. It's what ancient mystics have been saying for thousands of years. We are all connected in a field of information. And every part of the cosmos, every star, every atom is within you. The same universal information. So the holographic principle provides a scientific analogy for Rumi's notion of the heart as a mirror reflecting the whole of existence. The mirror is not what we see, but how we see it and the how is determined by the clarity of our consciousness. The lens is within, my friend. It always was. It's the unifying force that binds all knowledge, both ancient and modern. The two conversations you just witnessed, separated by seven centuries, reveal a single profound truth. In 13th century Kanya, 
We heard Maulana speak of the heart as a mirror reflecting the whole of existence. In 20th century New York, we heard Jacob and David discuss the holographic principle, a mind-bending theory from modern physics. At first glance, these ideas seem unrelated, one belonging to the realm of mysticism and poetry, the other to quantum gravity and mathematics. But they are, in fact, two different languages describing the same ultimate reality. The scientific concept of a holographic universe emerged from the study of black holes. Physicists realized that the maximum information content of any region of space is not proportional to its volume, as you might expect, but to the area of its boundary. Think of a standard hologram. A flat, two-dimensional plate contains all the information needed to reconstruct a full three-dimensional image. From this, the theory arises that our entire universe, the stars, galaxies, and everything we see, could be a projection of information encoded on a distant, two-dimensional surface. It's an idea that challenges our most basic assumptions about what is real. This modern scientific theory bears a striking resemblance to Malana's philosophy. For Malana, the Kalb, the spiritual heart, is not just an organ, but a mirror. This mirror, when polished clean of ego and worldly attachments, reflects the entire universe. His famous line, you are not a drop in the ocean, you are the entire ocean in a drop, is not just poetic fancy. It's a direct parallel to the holographic principle. It suggests that a small part, the drop, contains the complete information of the whole, the ocean. In this view, our inner world is not separate from the outer reality. It is a microcosm of it. The mind-body problem, the question of how our non-physical consciousness can interact with our physical brain, also finds a potential solution in this holographic model. Building on the ideas of physicist David Bohm and neuroscientist Carl Prebrum, some have suggested that consciousness itself is a holographic field. This would mean that our memories and thoughts are not stored in a single neuron or brain region, but are non-locally distributed throughout the brain, much like the information on a holographic plate. In this one, every part of the brain contains the whole, and consciousness itself is an integral part of a unified holographic substrate. This is where the wisdom becomes practical. For Malana, the act of polishing the mirror is the process of shedding our ego and loving something beyond ourselves. This act of divine love is not just an emotion. It is a universal force that shapes consciousness. The more we choose to love, the more we align with the true nature of reality and the more precise our mirror becomes. In the holographic sense, we are literally contributing to the organization of a universal information field. One thought and one feeling at a time. The holographic universe isn't just a physical model, it's a living blueprint for our own personal growth and self-discovery. It tells us that by understanding our unique role as a reflection of the whole, we can find a profound sense of purpose and connection in our lives. The journey from Milana's library to a modern cafe reveals that the most profound questions about the nature of reality are shared across cultures and centuries. The Holographia universe is not just a groundbreaking theory in physics, it is a scientific validation of an ancient spiritual intuition. It confirms that the part contains the whole, that the individual is a reflection of the cosmos. By recognizing this, we transcend the illusion of separation and cultivate our intrinsic connection to everything. This understanding invites us to view our personal journey as a cosmic one, where every act of self-discovery is a manifestation of universal revelation. The wisdom of the past and the science of the future meet in the present moment, offering us a powerful new perspective on who we are and our role in the universe. Our purpose, then, is to become the clearest possible mirror, so that the boundless whole may be seen through the beautiful and unique reflection of our individual lives. If this video touched your heart, subscribe. It's inspired by the timeless wisdom in the seven book Rumi collection by Dr. Fareed Mostaman. Whether you seek healing, love, clarity, or growth, these teachings will guide you inward to the truth of who you are.